أعزائي طلاب الصف الأول الثانوي مدرس دار الثقافة أستاذ أحمد عسكر يحييكم today we are going to complete studying module 4 lesson 4D lesson 4D is on pages 54 and 55 it has three parts reading grammar and practice first we must listen to the reading passage it's about Alaska natives it is about Alaska natives what is Alaska or where is it initially we must know a general idea about Alaska where is Alaska how can its inhabitants live and eat Alaska is the largest state of the United States of America and the extreme northwest of North America with coasts in the Arctic and the North Pacific Oceans. Its population about 686,293 people. The territory was purchased from Russia in 1867 and it became the 49th state of the United States of America in 1959. Listen carefully to, the, to this reading passage to know everything about Alaska also to study the highlighted words 4D Way of Life 1. Reading Alaska Natives Alaska, the largest state of the USA will definitely impress the traveler with spectacular landscapes and a unique climate but if you met the inhabitants you would realize that Alaska offers more than just pretty views. It also gives visitors a fascinating opportunity to meet wonderful people and a culture very different from their own. One of the many peoples of Alaska are the Inupiat, who live in the north and northwestern areas of the state. Most Inupiat people live in small villages that have been around for hundreds of years. Others live in larger towns, like Barrow, which is the most northern city in Alaska and the United States. In Barrow, temperatures can drop to minus 49 degrees Celsius in winter. Also, because North Alaska is very close to the North Pole, it is completely dark for more than two months in winter, and between May and August there is constant daylight. The Inupiat are peaceful people with a lot of respect for the environment and their traditions. Inupiat villagers rely on hunting and salmon fishing for their survival. Their prey is normally caribou, fish, especially salmon, and whales. While the men go hunting or fishing, the women either work or stay at home and make warm clothes for their family. Sharing is very important for the Inupiat, and when the men catch a whale, each member of the community will be given some. Alaska is a special place and it makes visitors wish they could go back. Some say it's the land of diversity. One thing is for sure, you've never seen anything like it. Pay attention to me. Look at these highlight words, landscapes. What does it mean? It means the nature or the countryside. Inhabitants. What does it mean? It means person or a group a group of people who lives 
in an area. An inhabitant is a person who lives in an area. Rely means to depend. Prey means an animal that is hunted. What about community? Community, it means a group of people living together. After listening to this passage about Alaska Natives, let's ask five questions. Question number one, what does Alaska offer visitors? What does Alaska offer visitors? It offers visitors a pretty sight, but also a fascinating opportunity to meet wonderful people and a different culture. Now look at question two, where do Inupiat people live? They live in the north and the northwestern areas of Alaska. Why is the weather in Alaska unusual? This is question number three. Because Alaska is very close, because Alaska is very close to the North Pole. Question four. What do Inupiat people eat? They eat caribou, fish, especially salmon and whales. Question number five. What happens when Inupiat people catch a whale? They share it among all the members of the community. Now, now look at exercise C. Look at the highlighted words in the text and try to guess what they mean. Then match them with their meaning is A to E. Then complete the sentences below with the correct form of the words. We have two columns of words. Column number A, column number B. Match every word from column number A with its right meaning from column B. Landscape. We explained its meaning before. Landscape, it means the nature or the countryside. Inhabitants. It means a person who lives in an area. Rely on. It has the same meaning of depend prey it's an animal that is hunted community community it means a group of people living together here we have five sentences every sentence has a gap try to complete these gaps using one of the one word from these words all the members of our state like the idea of a new park in the area. All the members of our community like the idea of new park in the area. Sentence two, I don't think you can rely on George to get a job done. He's not very responsible. Question three, or sentence number three, road trips are nice because they give you the chance to admire the beautiful landscape. We can enjoy the beautiful landscape while traveling. Question four, the injured animal couldn't run fast, so it was easy prey for the hungry lion. Question number five, there are more than 2,000 inhabitants in this village. This is the first part of lesson uh, 4D. In the next video, inshallah, I'm going to complete part 2 and part 3 of lesson 4D. You can answer pages 4 to 5 and 4 to 6 after finishing explaining Listen for the